So it's almost 1.45 a.m. in the middle of the night. So let's get this started. Ranks, scores, exams and competitions. This is the life of a student, whether we choose it or not. But what if somebody doesn't want to be in this grind? What if all they want to do is just qualify neat? There can be many reasons for this, which we need not be concerned about. What is important here is to have that clarity and then modify your efforts to best suit that purpose. Lots of my students with such goals feel very ashamed to vocalize this. They feel they will be immediately branded as either privileged, unambitious or simply a bad student. I just want to say you're not alone here. If you want to qualify NEET, that is a scary enough prospect on its own. Add to it all your friends who are constantly discussing ranks, scores and competition. It's no wonder you end up feeling inadequate about your own goals. But honestly, there is no shame in attempting it just to qualify without wanting to be a ranker. The good news is it's still not too late. 60 odd days to go and you can start now and can still clear it. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Abbas Ali, a full-time orthopedic surgeon, faculty of orthopedics, father of two boisterous kids, husband to a very lucky wife, and also a part-time YouTuber. So I wanted to chart out a pretty simple, a seven-day weekly format to help you qualify NEET in the bestest and easiest way possible. But before we get there, let us understand the four pillars of our strategy. Pyramid of questions, topic awareness, marking scheme, and selecting your smart source. See, setting a question paper is not random. Examiners actually follow a certain structure when it comes to uh, picking the questions. This is to ensure that the marks scored are proportional to the efforts you have put in, mostly. So the majority of the questions will actually come from a common and well-known pool of topics. They will be repeated often and they reflect the basics of the subject that you absolutely have to know. So these level one basic questions cannot be missed. Level two questions are essentially level one questions, but packaged differently, either by twisting the language of the question or the options. So you just need to be careful when you read them. No new knowledge is needed to answer them. Only careful analysis is required. Now, level three questions come from the same topic pool yet again, but have a new twist to them. They test the depth of your understanding of the subject and how well um, you can basically correlate with the other subjects. Level four questions, which are the least in numbers, are definitely from new topics. These are designed to give people an edge in marking, which will obviously help them get those top ranks. For the purpose of only qualifying need, we can confidently ignore this section. So what are the topics which constitute this level one and two of the pyramid? And where can you find them? Honestly, it's very easy. All you need to do is analyze these three sources. You can find them in the previous year questions or the question banks, especially with the hashtag recent need and recent aims questions. And from video sources like a revision and MCQ discussion videos. If you go through these resources, you will cover everything in level one and level two very easily. You know how you're scored, right? You get plus four marks for every correct answer and minus one for every wrong answer. Now that might seem like a lot of gap for you to guess what the answer is. And you might also be misguided by the famous proverb uh, that luck favors the brave. That is honestly not so particularly in your case for the purpose of this exam. Only attempt to answer if you can narrow it down to two correct options. That is if you're 50% confident of what the answer is. Otherwise, if the entire question is a mystery to you, it is best left unsolved. Now, this is something we can debate on for hours and hours about which is the best source to answer a level one and two questions. Honestly, any resource in the market will do the trick. 
But if you want to know what I think is the right tool for you, head down in the description and you will find the links to the best apps for NEAT PG, uh, UG and even NEAT MDS. Now that we have sorted the pillars, let's see how we can apply all of these principles and divide the remaining time into productive weeks. Your typical week of preparation should have two important elements. One is the standard set that you're working on and the second is the add-on which you will be learning on the side. Your set for every week is one grand test. So you start with the grand test every week. This will give you a wide variety of 300 different questions from different topics and subjects. Although it feels very random and out of place in the beginning, you will be surprised to notice that after a few grand tests, you will start predicting which questions are more likely to show up. Your aim here is to know everything about these 300 questions. Not that particular day, but throughout the week. Now, what's the add-on for every week? Add-on is basically a subject-wise approach. Here, you will do the subjects in order of least effort required to score marks. This is the order I prefer, but you can tweak it based on your own preference. And what will you do for these subjects? Your first priority should be previous year questions. Try to finish all the previous year questions for all the subjects in the list. You can then move on to the question bank with the relevant important hashtags that I talked about. And finally, if you have more time, do the MCQ discussion videos. That's what you do throughout the week. And one day before the next grand test, dedicate the whole day to revise everything you read previously in the set and add on and then give another GT, start the new week and keep repeating the cycle week after week till your exam. I know you must be confused, so let me just summarize what I just said. See, to summarize what your typical week should look like, give a grand test on Sunday for three hours and give a few hours every day throughout the week to review those 300 questions. And in the remaining time of the day, Finish the previous year questions and the question bank of all the subjects that you possibly can in that particular order. Reserve the Saturday for revisions and start your Sunday again with a grand test. So remember, to qualify NEAT, you just need to be smart about what and how you study. Because all you need is to know a certain amount of information and now that you've seen this video, you know exactly how to go about it. Do this for the next few weeks and I guarantee that you will qualify NEAT. Click the thumbs up button and share this video because it takes a lot of effort to make them. Leave a comment below because I love hearing from you. And if you have not already subscribed to the channel, do subscribe and click on the bell icon. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.